All right, what's up, y'all? It's 202 Wink, and this is my second time recording this video because somebody wanted to blast Murray J. Blige in the back. But um, it's all good. Let's just get straight to the point. Uh, basically, somebody had commented on my video saying that it took them two years to get an IT job and something, something, something. But the point is, yes, it took me two years, too, so it's nothing wrong with that. People be expecting, I mean, you should be able to do it, but people be expecting everybody to get out of school and get a job right away in their field and it doesn't work like that because most of the time you probably already have another job so that you can support yourself that's nowhere really near or that's just not in the field that you're trying to like get your career in that's number one number two is some of these uh like my school was supposed to hook me up with an internship and they did not so i ain't, I ain't gonna lie about that they were supposed to hook me up with an internship but they was uh fucking with me about shit like little dumb shit so I ain't get to do that. And so I found my, I did my own research, found my own internship. Shout out to the gadget guys, Wayne and Miss Renee. Um, they in Fort Washington. And um, I ended up going there. But matter of fact, I just skipped like a mug. So I was already, this is how, it took me two years too, and I'm gonna tell y'all how pretty much. So I was going to school for 69 months, working at Walmart. Uh, working at Walmart, graduated. I'm going to tell y'all some stories about Walmart, too, because they wasn't even trying to, like, let me off for my graduation. Ain't that some shit? But, um, because they don't want you to progress for real. At least the people that work there don't. They was all some haters. I'm going to do a video on that, because all of them are nowhere now. But, nah, um, my bad. Like I was saying, though, um, so I was working at Walmart, graduated or whatever, got sick of Walmart, because I told myself I was only going to work there two and a half years anyways. So, by time, by this time, I'm 21. So I stopped working at Walmart and I become an exterminator because it was more money. I went from making $14 to like $16. So that was the difference. And um, so I started working at the extermination thing, started doing exterminated. And I was still looking for jobs, but it's hard. it was harder because I had my weekends off, but every other weekend I did overtime on a Saturday and I was doing regular hours like eight to one or eight to four or five on the weekdays so it's hard to get an interview and it'd be hard to take off with certain jobs so like i say if you're looking for a job i mean if you graduate and you try and find a job don't just hurry up and quit your other job because you don't know how long it's gonna take to find one and yeah either way though so i was doing that worked there for about six months or something like that then i had to quit because i crashed a truck and i ain't want to go through a whole bunch of bs so i quit anyways and um by this time it's been like maybe a year since I graduated. I went to a few uh, interviews, but they was like all BS. Like any of the interviews that I went to that was in Virginia, like was like BS for real. Like it'd be these little small companies trying to find little tech contracts, get contracts with people and then like not paying for real. That's one thing I hate about Virginia too. They do not want to pay you. They're the least paid. So when it comes to jobs and shit. So I'm not about to be no contractor and make $14 doing some shit that I know people making 19, 20, 21 dollars and stuff like that, 21 dollars minimum. No. So I wasn't doing that. So after that, I was like, I ain't taking no more of these little rinky dink interviews somewhere out of Virginia. And I don't even want I don't even like riding out Virginia, driving out Virginia. I don't like Virginia at all for real. So whatever. So time go by. I told y'all it took me two years. So basically, um, I'm still doing an internship. I did that for about four months. Cause you could do it up to uh like I think it was the internship was either four months or four months or six months. But um either way, uh I was still I, I was I was trained changing jobs jobs like a mug. Hold on. Let me uh sit this somewhere. No, I gotta keep going up. So either way, I was changing jobs like a mug. So hold up. So, like I said, I was working with Termex and then I uh, I crashed their truck, so I wasn't uh, working anymore after that. Then, like, time went by, time went by, and I ended up uh, working at the airport. Now, that was the shortest, the, the, these all I had. I worked at the airport, and that was one of the shortest jobs I ever had. I worked there for like a month, like two fucking months or some shit. But, um, and, and you know what blew me at the airport, too? I was working with a lot of older women, and they kept trying to tell me that I need to go to school. I'm like, I just came out of school. I'm looking for a job, mind your business. I hate that. I hate when people do that shit. Because they don't know what you're trying to do, but they're trying to, like, you don't know what I'm doing or why I work here, but you assume that I, since I work here, that I don't have a, a job. Or, I mean, 
you're assuming that because I work here that I'm not doing anything with my life and that's not the case. You got to find a job. Like I'm always working no matter what. I'm always going to find a way to make money. So I was working at the airport. All that crap blew me and I just didn't go renew my life, my little thing no more. And I'm like, I ain't about to keep working here. It wasn't for me at all. And then they was paying trash and in Virginia, no. So with that being said, after I worked there, I stopped working for a minute, but like I said, I always find a way to make money. So I did Postmates a little bit. I did Postmates a little bit. And I always, one thing about me, I always have money saved. So I wasn't really tripping. I was never really tripping when I like didn't have a job. You know what I'm saying? Because I quit Terminex and then I stopped working at the airport too. But I was never tripping because I always had money saved up. So that wasn't a thing for me. So uh, let's see. After I quit the airport, I was doing Postmates a little bit, whatever, whatever. Doing this and that. You know, just doing like little hustles or whatever. And then I got back on, not, not that I wasn't online, but after a while, like filling out so many job applications, you got to wait a little bit to get some new jumps. So that's what I did. In between that, uh, I found like a bus cleaning job, or whatever, for Metro contracting or whatever. And uh, while I was doing that, I was still doing my internship. So I was working in North Uptown, basically. And we moved from Uptown, to, the bus lot moved from Uptown to somewhere in Forestville. So that was cool. Uh, it was a night shift junk too. So my day was cool. Like I had all day to like, if I wanted to like go on interviews, if I wanted to like do anything else on my day because I didn't have to go to work till like nine o'clock and then get off at 10. But we were so fast, we was done at, uh, I mean, get off at two, but we were so fast, we was getting done at 10. So uh, while I was working there, like I said, I was still going to the internship too. I was doing an internship like three days out the week. So, that's what I'm doing, working an internship, working an internship. Then I end up doing a, um, getting this little Prince George's County. I was trying to do something with their little government or whatever. So they had this little thing to be a dispatcher, which was IT shit for real, like kind of. But you had to like be good at typing and maps and stuff. Eat North, East, Southwest, all that crap. Unless you're talking about DC, I don't know none of the North, East, Southwest, Southwest. That's all I know. So either way, so I went. Uh, I went to this place. I had to go take a test, uh, you know, so I went. Other people was there, too, to be a dispatcher or whatever. And uh, the only thing I really failed, I failed the typing part by, like, two points. And then I, I know I didn't do a good job with the maps because I'm like, man, what? So whatever. So they told me, just come back and redo it. And I'm like, man, I ain't about to. I ain't say this to them. I just left and went about my day. But as I'm going home, I'm like, man, I ain't about to come redo this, take this crap. You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever, whatever, whatever. So I wasn't trying to do it. And um, so I was blown about that, but uh, I think the same time that I did the application for the uh dispatcher, I did one for the place that I work at now. So after I went off and did this and that about that joint about the dispatcher thing, like a week went by, and uh, I'm still like you know waiting around for places, and then next thing you know, I got a phone call from them, and it was like, yeah, hey, um this is such and such and we got your resume and we want to have you coming for an interview. So I was like, oh, bet. Cause I was just blown about the little dispatch job. So I'm like, all right, bet, thank you. They was like, uh, which day do you want to um have it? For this day or this day? I was like, man, I want it for the first day that you got it. So, which was like somewhere, we all the way in September now. By this time I'm 22. So I was looking, I graduated when I was like 20, turning 21. Yeah, I was either 20, turning 21 or just turned 21 or whatever, either way. By this time, I know I'm 22 and it's summertime. So I, I'm like, all right, whatever. They give me the interview information. They send me an email telling me, you know, how to get there and where it's at and whatever, whatever. And so I'm like, all right. So I, I got more dress clothes now, y'all. But back then, I, my dress clothes, my interview clothes, and my funeral family clothes or whatever was the same thing. So I put on my little white uh, little button-up shirt that's a little, little mini collar on. I put on some, like, black slacks. Retwisted my head, pulled it back in a ponytail. Y'all knew I should showed up on time. The only thing that really, the only thing that was really messing with me was the parking. Because at my job, when you coming up the street, the main, it looks like the main place is what you're riding past and it's not. You got to go somewhere else. So that was the only thing that was confusing me. But either way, I went in there, I walked into the, uh, the lady who I talked on the phone with. You okay? I'm recording a video. The lady I was talking on the phone with met me downstairs and um, she was
she met me downstairs. She asked me if I want to take the steps on the elevator. We took the steps, whatever, whatever. Now I walk into the interview room. They had, they said nothing about this being a panel. So I never did a panel fucking interview. That's more than one person at once. So I walk in there and I see two people. I'm gonna say it like this. I see two people that look like me and I see another person. So it's three people total. So automatically when I see the people that look like me, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna be my complete self. So. I walked in, um, it was three people, I introduced myself, whatever, 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 and they was like, yeah, we're gonna ask you a bunch of questions back to back to back. So it was literally them saying this, me responding, turning to the next person, them saying this, me responding, back, 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 back. That shit was fucking crazy. I never went through nothing like that, but I was good though. And I was either the 95th or the 99th person that they saw. Either way, after I left, shook their hands, whatever, was feeling good. The next fucking week, no, actually no. They had to go redo, go through my references. So um, I had called my internship and I had called my sister and to tell them that they was gonna call them, okay? So I did that and um, they called me like a week, I never forget this shit. They called me like a week later, I was I had just got finished getting gas, right? And uh, actual car gas, people. I had just got finished getting gas. And um, no, actually my bad. When I told my sister and my internship people that they was gonna get a call, I was at the gas station. Then time goes by and I'm in my room and then the lady who called me, called me back again and was like, uh, yeah, we just wanted to let you know that whatever, whatever, you got the job and we, and we want you to come in for orientation. And I told y'all, each time they tell me which day do I want to come in, I pick the earliest damn day. I'm like, as soon as possible. So I started in September, whatever. I hung up the phone and I cried. And I tell everybody this because I was looking for this job. I was looking for a job for two fucking years, young. Know? And it's not funny. That's why the person who commented on my other video saying that it took them two years, I completely understand. Because people will be thinking that you just BSing around, just like not trying to find a job or some bullshit. And it's not like that. You really have to keep going on interviews. It'd be crazy, shady companies and all that. So, yeah, I dad going to show did cry on my floor. Just a few little tears like, yes, finally, you know, things going to change. So, that happened. I had my first day. And then three years later, I'm still here and I'm known as <clears throat> the lady who moves fast. And I scare people a lot because when they call me, <laughs> I end up at their desk or I'll already be under their desk and I'm just scaring people. But not in a bad way. And I also won a lot of awards. Um, I'm level two now. Uh, I'm the senior on my team and I have like authority and stuff. And if anybody know me, <laughs> if anybody from like Walmart or whatever know me, I'm, I'm not no micro manager, none of that. Go ahead, do your work. You need some help, whatever. But they look at me as an authority figure, yeah. So it's all good. Um, and that's the two years span. So if it's taking you a long time, don't let that discourage you. Keep looking, and go for what you want, yeah. Because I'm in the, the perfect, at, at, uh, the perfect environment right now. You know what I'm saying? And I love my job, <clears throat> just like I love YouTube. And that's the that's the real fucking dilemma, because. My uh, supervisor keeps saying one day it's going to be a point where I might not be able to do both. So, if somebody out there in YouTube land, or if y'all just want to like, blow me up real quick, you know. But um, besides that, y'all, that's the whole thing. Like I was saying, don't let, don't get discouraged. Keep looking. Um, tweak your resumes to the job post if you have to. You know what I'm saying? Like, tweak. So... If y'all have any uh, other questions, uh, comments, uh, concerns, I don't even got to tell y'all because y'all be hitting me in the DMs and all that anyway. So continue to do that, uh, the comments or whatever, and I feel free to help y'all. Now, as far as me getting a reference, because somebody asked me, could I reference them? Because something, I don't know, but I don't know about that. But, you know, just go ahead and have your friends loud something. Not like that, but, you know, yeah. Like, comment, subscribe, share, I'm gone.